Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network, and today we're going to go over using Update Manager to deploy host extensions to your hosts. Now, the reason I specifically wanted to cover this is this can be something that's a little tricky or confusing the first time you have to do it. And common host extensions that need to be installed are things like SIM providers, maybe the 1000V virtual Ethernet module, perhaps you're using the EMC PowerPath extension, etc. There's a lot of unique extensions that you may need to load for a first time to get them on your system. Now, the first step you want to do is create a baseline that deploys these host extensions. So what I like to do is I'm in the Update Manager view from the vSphere client, I'm in the Administrative view, and the default tab is Baselines and Groups. And in this particular scenario, I've gone ahead, I've deleted every baseline that isn't just the standard built-in critical and non-critical. So we're going to create a baseline. Now, a lot of times the patch baseline will be the default selection. So an administrator will go in and let's say we're installing a SIM provider for Emulex. So we'll put Emulex, Emulex, there we go, can't type. Uh, Emulex, uh, update, SIM, whatever it is. You choose host patch because it's the default, not thinking about the fact that there's a host extension here. Go to next, we'll use a fixed baseline because we only want just one patch specifically. And I'll type in Emulex here. And let's say this is a newer one. I've got an old one from August and a new one from December. So I'll grab this new one here next. And we'll do finish. So you've got your patch there. You feel like you're good to go. We'll go back to compliance view and I've got a host selected. We'll attach that particular baseline clicking here. There we go. And all of a sudden, it's saying that the host already has this patch. We don't need to patch it. And if I go to compliant details, we'll see that it's a new module. It has not been installed. It will actually need to be loaded. But this particular patch is not applicable because we've chosen a patch baseline when we really need a host extension baseline. So this can be confusing. You may think that you already have this patch installed when in fact it's just because the baseline was incorrectly configured uh, that you're seeing the green checkbox. So what I'm going to do is remove or detach, just right click, detach the baseline. We'll get rid of this one. We'll go back to admin view of update manager and if you if you look, if you edit the baseline, you can't actually make a change. You're going to have to start over on this baseline. So I'm just going to nuke it by right clicking and deleting the baseline and we'll make a new one. So Make the new baseline for Emulex extension for SIM. Let's say update, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. Uh, and then I'm going to choose host extension. And watch these choices here really go down when you choose host extension. Why? Well, a host extension baseline cannot be dynamic. You only get to choose specifically what you want to be in the baseline. So when I click next here, you notice there's no choice for fixed or dynamic. We're we're pigeonholed into only selecting specific patches, or in this case, extensions. So I'll put an Emulex again. We'll choose the latest and greatest SIM provider here, December. Just click the arrow to add it to the, the patch list. That's all you're doing is just choosing one. And then you finish. It's a lot less choices to do, and you'll notice it's only fixed. So now we'll go back to Compliance View, and I'll attach it to the virtual machine. We'll notice this one actually come back saying that it's not in compliance because we are actually missing this particular uh, patch. So I'll click on non-compliant hosts and you'll see here this host is marked non-compliant. It says new module just like it did before except now this can be a, a module that will be installed based on the fact that we're using a host extension baseline. So if I went to actually remediate this uh, it would show up as one extension will be remediated by this process specifically that new SIM provider. So that's a common pitfall. Just be aware of the fact that some extensions like drivers can actually be deployed using a patch baseline. But as a rule of thumb, it's really a good idea to go ahead and create a host extension baseline whenever you're trying to deploy host extensions. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information valuable, make sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, please become a subscriber. For more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.